What's up, people? This is your boy Trey Folks in the building. Look, I had to take down that last video of the Kobe story because a lot of it got cut and I didn't even know it. So, look, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to explain this to y'all and I'm going to make sure everything is on this one right here. Everything is on this video, this audio, I should say. So, look, people say, hey, have you met Kobe before? I know you played with him. Did he say hi? Did he say bye? Did he say anything <laughs> to you? I'm like, yeah, he did. So I'm going to tell y'all the backdrop to this. Kobe's rookie year, he was on a TV show. After getting drafted to the Lakers, he was on a TV show called Moesha. That was a TV show that the singer Brandy had. And Kobe was actually a student at Crenshaw High. We just might say a, a student athlete because he was a ball player at Crenshaw High, which kind of reminded me of myself and a few others. You know, same height, Bill, you know, him, him being that, that player, that, that dude on the campus, it was, it was tight just to see that, you know, on TV. And actually, I didn't even know that until my boy had called and said, man, you got to turn on Moesha Kobe up here wearing your jersey. And I said, you know what? I had a torn Achilles then, and I must have hopped up off that couch and hopped over to that TV to change the channel just to see if he was lying or was he telling the truth. And so my boy Phil was telling the truth. Kobe had on number 44. Now the backdrop to this, now we go back. I wore two jerseys. You know, I wore 44 and I wore 24. And... The white was 44, 24 was the blue. Size differential, you know, between the jerseys, some bigger and smaller in size and, the, and fit in the fit. So, you know, legend has it that, you know, he requested my jersey and the only one that was there was a blue 44. So, you know, that right there was a good feeling. And I'm putting two and two together. And I'm like, this, I'm feeling like this is coming together. This is real. So after seeing Kobe, have that jersey on, that was an inspiration. And then seeing Crenshaw being represented in this type of way on a, a major network with Brandy. As soon as, you know, it was doing a, a, a rerun spins on UPN. Y'all remember the UPN network? That's a little old school bar for y'all too. So getting back to this, man, seeing Kobe, um, I was I had a torn Achilles, so I was hopping everywhere happy calling people like, man, Kobe had a jersey on, you know, so that was a great feeling. I was feeling like I got to get motivated again every day to make sure I get healed to a T, make sure I'm, I'm doing my, my physical therapy. I'm making sure I'm doing everything at home to get right, eating right, trying to get back on this court, you know, torn the keys to keep you out about a year. So after coming back, it took about it took about a year and some change and now I'm playing in the minor leagues and so on so on overseas Harlem Globe Trotters and the moment comes that I get a call up and who I get a call up to back home the Clippers so of course the Clippers and Lakers gonna play each other three or four times a year and once we was playing the Lakers and I actually started some games and I had a start against Kobe Bryant and Kobe was a, you know he was already the man they already won like maybe two or three maybe th two chips two chips they actually they won that year they won that year that during my call-up year so just having that chance to be you know on the court with Kobe at that's the highest level it was special but getting back to the story the second year we played uh, the Lakers in Bakersfield. You already know the Clippers play the Lakers every preseason in Bakersfield. So we in Bakersfield, and after the game, I'm coming out, you know, the locker room, and we walking out into the, you know, downstairs tunnel area, and Kobe is coming out, and me and Kobe get we we get eye contact, and he, you know, he he put his hands up like, what's up, you know, and I'm like, what up, Kobe, and he come up to me, and in a minute, I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm shocked, and I'm like. Maybe Kobe know what's up. And I'm like, yeah, Chris, y'all, I'm putting two together, head spinning fast. And so come, Kobe come up to me like, hey, man, you finally made it, huh? I was like, yeah, man, thanks, Ray. He said, congratulations, man, I appreciate it. I was like, you know, I appreciate that for real. And he was like, man, he was like, uh, keep working, man, keep working. I was like, for sure, Kobe, I appreciate that. You know how Kobe, deep voice, yeah, congratulations, man. Yeah, 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 keep working, keep working. Finally made it. Yeah, man, that's anybody. <laughs> Tell me I'll sound like him a little bit. But yeah, Kobe, that was a moment that a lot of a, a lot of players, I didn't hear that from a lot of players. 
So just hearing that from Cole, that equal like 100 or 200 players right there just for his status. And that was all love. And you got to think, me getting that love and I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the love. And Cole is younger than me, but he, his plateau is so sick. So I'm looking at him like he an OG because he really is an OG NBA wise, you know, with his accomplishments. So I'm like, this is the realest right here. So. Look, man, I had it. I had at least dropped that because Cole was one of the first ones who gave some props, and he's probably the only one at his at his status that actually wore a Crenshaw jersey. He is that wore the Crenshaw jersey and had it in a TV show for 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 somebody of his level. It's never happened, and then for him to wear that forty four and represent your boy Trey, folks. Right there, history is made. Legends is made, done, accomplished. Out right out of L.A., baby. Shout out to L.A., L.A., Crenshaw, Cali, the Lakers, the Clippers, you know, all of it. Everybody got a part. You right in the land, man. We going through a lot of stuff in the city, man. I want everybody to stay safe out here, man. It's, it's, uh, it seems like it's demon time for a lot of people, man. So just stay stay prayed up. You know, I, I, I thank you for tuning in. This uh, this this was supposed to happen the first interview, and I should have looked at it and said a minute and 56 seconds long. No, my story at least is five minutes, and if I go longer, I would, and I should, but right now, at least want to get y'all back on deck on that Kobe story. So how you see, when I see you see these pictures that you see the 44, and I got the 44, he got the 44 on. That was by request, and I was so happy he said that that it stuck with me when I saw him. And I, I, I saw I wanted to get a Crenshaw little story going on with him, like, yo. But you know, when you when you going so fast and you in the lead, you know, you only got about a couple moments. Everybody wants to get your attention. They pulling out. I know Cole. Everybody's pulling that Cole. You know, and I'm just want to get that love to him, showing the same love. Bam, and we go our different, you know, our separate ways. But right there was a story that I, I don't know. Uh, you know how many times I've told that to people. So if they don't know, now you know. If you know, then you know again, <laughs> my friend. So that's it, man. I love y'all. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep giving y'all some cool little audios. I'm going to give y'all some videos, uh, uh, some history of, about L.A., Los Angeles, Hoop, and, you know, from Crenshaw, you know, from, you know, all, starting with us and then we'll break off, branch off into different sections of LA City Basketball and CIF and we'll just do the whole rundown as time goes but I just want to thank y'all for tuning in man that's that story I had to revise that I had to revise that with the quickness with the Olympic speed so thank you for tuning in I will check y'all out later peace love and no hair grease because I'm bald one <laughs>